Hey, what's up guys? So I'm super excited. Today, my first batch of Kim Woosuk, so I got some hair on there, <laughs> whoops, of uh, Kim Woosuk's uh, new album, Tasty, came out. Um, so you can see I did something for the first time. I actually bought Kinos. I bought four copies of this and um, hoping I pull four different photo cards because Unfortunately, he's a little bit hard to trade for just because he does have a decent fan base. It's growing. It's just hard to find his cards because people really just buy his album. He has five PCs per version. And you can only get one PC. Like, you only pull one in the albums. So, you have to buy a lot. I do have another batch coming from Makestar. I don't know if I'm going to film an unboxing for them. They come with... Um, a set of hologram photo cards that are exclusive to oops that are exclusive to K-Town and not K-Town um to make start and then K-Town also has two photo cards that are exclusive to them that I have here that I have upside down so I don't know what they look like until the unboxing is over so I did take the plastic off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the two album versions first and then we'll go through the four kinos for the kinos I will unbox one and then we'll just open the others to see the photo card pull so for this album, which is called Tasty, you either get, you're going to get the cream version or the cookie version. I think we'll start off with the cream version. So this is what it looks like. It is a nice box. Um, if you did get his previous album, which was Greed the First Desire, this is the second desire. It is a lot thinner, so storing it should actually crossing fingers hopefully be easier because I am running out of space but um he is I'm pretty sure my ult when it comes to male solos right now so I'm trying my best to stay up to date with his collection I'm going back into obtention stuff to try to get stuff for him so you guys should probably look forward to if you're a fan of him in the future be doing like a massive Wusa call with stuff so let's open this here all right so it looks like they put all the goodies here. So what I'm going to do is just take all these out, put them in the bottom of the box so we don't see. Oh. Okay, here we go. So I think that's a... Uh... All right, we'll figure that out later. I don't remember everything this comes with, but this is what the photo book looks like for the cream version. So this is the front, the side, and the back. Same color as the outbox. So now we're going to get into the photo book here. So you can see it says cream here, so you know. So I think cream is going to be the lighter, cuter side of this comeback. His hair looks a bit pink here. Very soft, but sophisticated. Soft, but sophisticated. I think that explains Wusik pretty well. He's soft, but very sophisticated. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to go through this. Um, the pages are matte. They are a good quality. They're not thin. They're, I would say, medium thick. So, you know, I'm not scared to actually, like, as I turn these to, um, rip them. Uh, the photo quality looks nice. So, you are getting what you pay for, in a sense, with these albums, which is nice from Top Media. Oh, this is cute. A little bit of a different hairstyle too with a brush back. I'm holding a teddy bear. And I like how they did um, a different picture in the background on this. So the picture in the background actually works. Doesn't just feel like a filler. You got some stuffed animals there. When it comes to Wusik for styling, I always think he's always one of the best when it comes to styling, even when he was in Uptension, which I think he still is. I'm just confused with what Top Media is doing because Wusik and Wei, I'm sorry, Jinhook, haven't been in an uptension comeback, so I'm kind of confused, but we'll see. The turtlenecks. There's a little butterfly on that. Like I said, I'm super excited about this. I'm trying not to blab for too long. Very pretty. But then again, it's hard not for everything to look nice because Wusik is very photogenic. And his company knows it. 
So this is an outfit from the music video. I do recognize that from the sugar music video. Oh. <laughs> All right. So when you get about here, it is a little hard to keep it down. I don't want to break the binding. Though this binding on the photo book also feels very sturdy. Um, there are some that if you pull like this, you'll hear maybe a little bit of a snap, which you don't want to hear. But Woo6 is holding up very nicely. So in all, so far, the packaging and the construction of the photo book itself is very nice. You get what you pay for. Very nice quality. Whoop. Butterfingers. <laughs> Here we go. Just chilling under the table there. And then we get a, another outfit change from him for this concept. So I think there were, were there actually five outfit changes in this? If there were, ooh, it's a little dog bag. That's cute. If there are actually five outfit changes in this, then they're very smart because probably that's where they probably get the five photo cards from for each version from the five different sets of outfits, which fair play, fair play. This kind of gives me like an old um, like newspaper feel in a way. Just the color palette. Like it's a faded picture, like a sapia picture. That's cute. It looks like we're going to get to, here's credit. His official stuff, top media's audition. And then at the very back it says, oh, can't run away and, tur and you turn me upside down. Wake me up now. Interesting. So that was the photo book. So as you saw, I put all the extras here. So we'll go through them. So the first thing I see immediately is we get a little postcard cream version. Also has some stuff on the back. You can pause to read it if you would like. We'll put that there. Then we get the cream version of the CD. So this is what the disc looks like. Kind of looks like a cookie. Saving the photo cards for last. And then I believe this is the lyric. Okay, so here's the lyric fold out. So this is what it looks like. We're going to open it. So as you see, you have all the lyrics here in a cute little compact design. And you get a sticker sheet for cream. And I think this might actually be a little fold out poster that he does. It is. So this is the one I got. I'm not sure if there's different versions per album itself, per version, album version. So this is what it is. And then you get two cards. So I believe this is the ID card. So we're going to go with this first. Here's what the back looks like. It has his logo. And this is what it looks like. It does look like he has one of the suits on from this photo book. So that is one of the IDs. And let's see what photo card we pull. Oh, okay. So here is one of the selfie photo cards for the cream version. Looking cute as usual. His hair is extra floofy. So that was the cream version and all of its inclusions. I'm going to pack everything up real quick. Try to make it look nice and neat so that nothing gets damaged. Probably should have done it the other way. But that's how we'll do it for now. So then we are going to get into the cookie version, which is a darker version. So the outbox is the same. It's just a darker color. As you can see, a dark brown. They kind of went for like an Oreo feel, I think. And there we go. So like the other one, I'm just going to take all of this. All of it, including you. Come on, come on, poster. All right, I'll put all of that there. And then we are going to get into the photo book. So the photo book has the same picture as the front. Just as thick as the other one. I realize I didn't do this. Just as thick as the cream version. So let's get into it. As you can see already, it is a bit darker. And we have the highlight here saying cookie. So this looks very much like on the back of a theater or a stage. And he's just chilling. Oh, okay. So he has, I don't know, I'll bring this up to the camera. I don't know if you can see it. He has glitter there, like glitter freckles. 
So I'm always curious when Wusuk releases stuff because of du the duality that he has. Pretty. But like I said in the last version, it's very hard. Okay, so actually that this ID card then, this one, he is wearing this suit alpha in it. So it looks like the ID cards they just did whichever version they wanted. I'm not complaining. Here is his little green sweater that he's wearing on the front with the glasses here. I do remember on his Instagram he was posting um, separate concept pictures asking what you preferred. And it was really interesting because the answer is both. He looks good in anything. Uh, he has a little drawn on freckles as well in this. His hair looks a bit gray there instead of the blonde or pink. But I guess that's that thing they were going for in this. And this is probably my favorite part of the concept, where he has stickers. I love stickers, so I was here for it seeing that he had stickers on. <laughs> Am I still centered? Yes, okay. Cute. Let me get a close-up of dice. It looks like this has a little bit more page fillers than the last one did. Still a lot of pictures, though, to go. So here we go. He has all the stuffed animals. He's in a new suit and a sweater this time. <laughs> the color scheme they did it just works for both versions, it seems, which I like. I do remember this. This this is the um, teaser picture they put out for it, I think, actually. Or it's another cut of it. I don't know. So then this is a bigger spread. And now we're getting to the last pages, which I feel like she doesn't have a thanks to in this, which is kind of weird. So then, like the other one, we're going to pick this up. Because your love makes me better, better you save my life, is what it says. We'll leave that there, and let's go through all of the goodies here. So, just like the other one, we have a postcard, and here is the back that I'll hold it here. If you guys like to pause and read, feel free. Put that there. We also get the tasty version. The tasty version, the cookie version, I apologize. The cookie version of the CD plate. You also have the fold out, so it's different than the other one. You have a teddy bear and the smiley faces. But it looks relatively the same once you get in to it. Photo cards we're going to save for last. You get the cookie version of the sticker sheet. And, oh, this one. A vertical. This is really cute. I'm gonna move this up a little bit actually. And then like the other one, you get two versions. So we'll start with the ID card first. Here's what this back looks like. And this is what this one looks like. The picture, for whatever reason, looks bigger on this one than the other one. It might be. And then here is the photo card. Cute. Okay. So you do only get, unfortunately, one photo card out of five in this album, which, because he has five, which one is this one? This is the back, okay. Because he has um, five photo cards, you're probably going to have to buy more sets or buy pretty quickly from Korean resellers, which a lot of them actually don't overprice for his stuff yet. So I will say that is pretty good. But, um, unfortunately, you never know because idols get popular really, really quickly. So I would, oh, I'm going to keep that out, actually, like the other one. So I'd advise, if you're going to do that, then do it quickly. So we'll put those to the side. And now we have the Kinos. So we'll just take the one from the top. Here is what the front looks like. The sides and the back. So I've never had a Kino before. So I don't know. Oh, okay, that actually was... 
a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So when we open it, we get this little cover here. With all the official stuff on the back. We get credits. Um, directions for the Kino. And then the Kino itself. Oh, okay. So this is how I get it. Okay. All right. Cool. It's a little Kino unboxing. A lot quicker than albums. Not used to it. So the photo card for this is on the top. Kind of nervous to see. So I'm actually going to go through the 20 Kino cards you get with this. And then we'll look at the photo card. These are definitely all going in my binder. I hope I have enough spots for them. I will make room for them. They are all super duper pretty. High quality. It feels really nice. So there are 20 of these. And the set of 20 is the same in all of the Kinos as far as I know. This one looks like it got a little bent, but it looks like that's the only one that got bent, but you can't really tell. All right. So then the Kino card. And just so you know, for the Kino cards, you do get, there are four possibilities for them. All right. So this is one I haven't seen before of him in his little green sweater. So we're going to clean up this really quick just because I don't want to damage anything by accident. As I go to open up the other ones, I'm going to keep everything in a little stack. All right. So we have three more here. So like I said, these ones we're just opening to see. Oh gosh. Are you going to be the one that gives me a hard time? You are. Okay, I got it. So all the contents are the same. We're just seeing what photo card we pull here. Um, any photo card that is a dupe will be up for trade for the other Kino versions. All right. So we already pulled a dupe here. Let's see. And the other um, Kino albums I have will actually be up for sale, but without the little Kino uh, photo cards. Oh, okay. So this is a different one. Okay. So we're going to keep this one definitely. And then let's see. I mean, for four, two out of four isn't bad. Uh-oh. Two out of four isn't bad. Oh, no. This is going to be the one that makes me look like I can't open anything. Uh-oh. Come on. The other ones were so easy. Come on. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. I won't edit out the struggle because I will totally forget. So I'm going to try to bother to cover that up. All right. So let's see here. And we pulled the green sweater again. All right. So in all in the Kinos, my first time ever buying Kinos, I pulled three dupes. Not horrible. Two, out, You know what? Getting Actually getting two out of four cards. Not bad. I just have to trade for the other two. So that's that. All right, so we'll bring everything back into the shot. And then, oh, I also have the two K-Town for you pre-order ones that I totally forgot about. All right, so we'll bring everything. Trying to bring everything back into the shot here. Trying to make it look nice. It's the name of the game. Making everything look nice at the end of the day here. So for K-Town, they did one where you got two exclusive pre-order benefits. So this is the back of the cards. And then the front, um, I immediately noticed this and this photo card. Literally the same one. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see it. These two, literally the same picture. Just, actually, never mind, it's not. His mouth is open in this a little bit. Never mind, he bamboozled me. And then this is probably my favorite concept picture so far. So I'm definitely going to put all of this in my binder. But um, everything's a little bit off-center. Whoopsie. You think I'd notice? All right, here we go. So this was my unboxing of my K-Town For You batch of Kim Woo-Suk's second album, uh, Second Desire, Tasty. I highly recommend listening to him. Oh, uh, my favorite song from the album. So I really do like Sugar. 
probably followed by, now I have to remember everything off the top of my head here. Let me see, which one is it? Probably followed by Holiday. I really like Holiday. That's what's called Holiday. So I really like that one, but all, in all, I always like all of his songs on the album. It's an album that I won't skip through again. So I'm content with that. So Top Meter really does pick good songs for him to sing. So I'm happy about that. Um, if you guys would like me to do something with the Make Star albums, let me know. Maybe I'll do another video or I'll just do, um, I'll just include them in putting my Woosa collection or where updating my Woosa collection. Maybe I'll do that. So, um, so I don't keep babbling. <laughs> this was my unboxing of Kim Woosuk's new album, Tasty. I highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.